Today I'm going to show you what to do if you have accidentally stained your shirt with banana sap. So I'm going to go over both how to do it on white shirts as well as how to do it on colored shirts as the process will be slightly different here. So for this we'll just need a few things that you have around the house. Definitely need something to clean it up with. Dishwashing soap will be a good thing to have if you don't have anything else on hand. On top of this we're also going to use a little brush. I just have a little toothbrush in this apartment so gonna have to deal with that. If you have a proper cleaning brush that's going to be even more effective of course. On top of that we'll need a basin or somewhere to clean off the, the product after we're done washing it. For the white shirt we're also going to need some uh, oxygen based bleach. I'm gonna add recommendations for all these products by the way down in the video description. If you want to clean the banana skin more effectively you could also consider using some enzyme based detergent on your garments. Just make sure that you just use this on uh, cotton, linen, it, synthetics. Definitely stay away from this if you're going to do this on wool or silk. So let's start off here by stain, staining the shirt I guess. Why stain one shirt when you can uh, when you can stain two shirts? <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it uh, on the spot inside the shirt there as you can see. As you can see this oxidizes pretty fast. So the way this works is that the faster you clean this off, the easier it's going to be. Definitely, if you can, try to avoid letting it dry. So we're just going to go ahead and get to work right away here. First thing we want to do here before we start working with any garments is to always check the tags to make sure that they can handle the products and heat and temperature we're going to use. Especially for the white one, if you're going to use bleach, this oxygen-based bleach, so generally they, if you had to have this sign, it will work just fine. But just keep in mind that this is, can damage your clothes if you're not careful. Perhaps you want to start testing the products in a little inconspicuous place here, maybe at the end of the shirt or whatever you're cleaning. Uh, anyway, let's just get started here right away before this starts setting. So the first thing you definitely want to do, if you can, is to just scrape off any remaining uh, banana that has been applied to your shirt. Try to not spread it out on the shirt, but the more you can get off now, the easier this process is going to be. And let's repeat the process here on the, the gray shirt as well. All right, so now we've gotten off the worst of it, right? By the way, you don't want to dry the garments anyway before you've got this out. If it dries up, it's going to set more and it's going to be even more difficult to get this stuff out. So for the white shirt, what we're going to do here is that we're going to make a little bit of a solution using oxygen-based bleach and water. We're adding a spoon of oxygen-based bleach first. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, water this down so that we can create a little paste out of it. So I'm just going over to the sink here, adding a tiny bit of water here. But you don't really want to touch this stuff, so it is best if you can mix it up with a tool or perhaps wear some gloves. Make sure you don't apply this to any surface that can handle the product. Maybe the easiest place to do this will be inside the actual basin itself. But I mean, it's a little bit easier to work with it here for me. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this now. Just let it sit there for a while, properly absorb. And on the other color shirt there, the thing is that we can't really use bleach on colored garments as they have a tendency to lose a bit of their color. It will be a lot lighter in the color if I start using bleach on this gray t-shirt. So what we can do instead here is just use some other cleaning product. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use some simple dish soap. But if you have enzyme-based detergent, that's going to be really effective as enzymes really help break down these more uh, biological, natural uh, stains that may occur in your garment. Also, I have a stain remover bar that's pretty cool. This is also really effective, so you could consider using something like that if you have it available. Again, I'm going to link all this stuff in case you want to purchase any of it. Apply a little bit of soap here. Just scrub it in there. Make sure it's nice and in there. I would do both edges, make sure it's all uh, properly saturated in here. And from here, I'm just gonna let it sit for half an hour on both of them. Letting it sit and just kind of work uh, work its job is going to be very effective here. So what I'm gonna do now that it's wet and it's working is that I'm just gonna cut into the future in about 30 minutes and I'm gonna have a look at how much these have progressed so far. If we need to do some adjustments or if they're ready to move on to the next phase. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. It started raining and thundering here, but I got out and bought a brush in time. Uh, so in future cleaning stain videos, I'll have a brush again. By the way, if you're into stain removal, cleaning, some organizing, uh, you could consider subscribing to this channel as that's what it's all about here. Anyway, for the results here, as you can see on a gray t-shirt, 
There is absolutely no sign of the banana stain left on it. So this one is ready to go directly into the washing machine. So what I'm going to do here with this one is that I'm simply going to wash it like normal and it's ready to dry as well. I'm just going to use some gentle detergent on it and that should be totally adequate for this t-shirt. As for the white one, you can see here it's not entirely gone. Um, as you can see here there still is a little sign of the stain. So while I think the washing machine would take most of this, what I want to do here instead is that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scrub it a little bit with some um, with some soap as well, just to get out like 90% of this before I wash it in the washing machine. Alternatively, if the stain was not gone to a point like this, what I would do instead is that I would apply more oxygen-based bleach to the stain, like we did the first time, and I would actually leave this up to well, let's say you can leave it up to six hours, but from my experience, overnight is totally fine too, especially on uh, on these uh, cotton t-shirts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scrub this a little bit. Make sure you get it on both sides, otherwise it might still set a little bit on the other side while it's going on the inside. So I'm just gonna scrub this down quickly here. Actually, already now you can see there is almost nothing left of this thing. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to wash this regularly now as well because there is really no stain left and the washing machine is going to do a great job with the remaining little bit of staining. So I'm going to toss that into the washing machine as well and we're going to run that on a normal cycle. If your stain is not completely gone and you need to go to bed or you just don't have time to work on it anymore, I would say try to leave it in treatment over time. You don't want the stain to dry up as it kind of sets really well if you let it dry. What you could try to do is wash it in a washing machine on one of the cooler settings. I would definitely stay away from the dryer if you're going to do this uh, as the dryer really uses the heat and makes the stain set in there really nice and tightly once it dries up. Now, washing it really is a good alternative here at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use these uh, laundry detergent sheets which are pretty gentle on the garments. I'm also going to run it on just a regular um, cycle here. I think I'm going to add an extra rinse just to make sure that we get out the remaining residue of all these cleaning products that we have used. So we don't get that stuck on our skin and stuff once it comes out the washing machine. After that you can dry it like you normally would. Just check the stains first so that you don't throw it into the dryer or something and then you make the <laughs> red main drop stain set. Super hard. And I almost forgot here are the results the next day once it's been washed and uh, dried. No more banana stain. And here is the gray one. No signs of banana. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you need any more tips on removing stains, please let me know. I would love to make videos on specific stains for you in the future as well. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.